Council. Well, the last time the Cubs were one game away from the World Series was 13 years ago, and we all know what happened then. Let's hope there are no more Steve Bartmans hiding in a woodpile for Game 6 tomorrow at Wrigley Field. Should be a great game with the Cubs going with Kyle Hendricks on the mound against Dodgers ace Clayton Kershaw. Scalpers even for a nosebleed seat are asking more than $400 for a ticket to the game. If a Lou has to reach into the stands, it's fair game for the fans to catch the ball. If the fan reaches out over the field, then it can be ruled fan interference. Well, season ticket holder Dave Pendergast was at that Steve Bartman game. It's basically the 13th anniversary of that collapse, but Pendergast says this team seems immune to curses. I have a little trouble forgetting, uh, I think it was 2003 in the Bartman game. We were up 3-2, coming back to Chicago in the same exact scenario. But uh, I think this is a different team and a much, much more exciting team. I'm very, very excited about it. For most Cubs fans, though, something bad happening is always in the backs of their minds. Pendergast, though, says he focuses on the positive and has no regrets, despite... October collapses. I've always been an optimist and I always think of the best and um, the Cubs have given me so much joy. Uh, we got our first uh, season ticket back in 1984 and we left the stadium uh, thinking we were going to go to the World Series and the ball went through Leon Durham's um, legs and we never made it and then we saw 87 and 2003 so, so on and so forth and and it's never been a disappointing situation to be a Cub fan. If there is a Game 7, Pendergast says he would let Jake Arrieta go ahead and take his turn on the hill and not go with John Lester on short rest. We'll have to see what happens if the series goes to Game 7. <laughs> And that someday could very well be this year. And that's been your update news. I'm Stan Maddox. The weather forecast is next.